it is end of month and I'm just going to give you an update. So I'm Colleen Tatum. I help empower people around all things money. And this is where you get to watch me in the building journey. I was so sick of just seeing the million dollar earners and their updates. And I decided I'm going to show you step by step how I do it. So the month of February wrapped up February keep saying February. I think it's because I'm booking for March. I feel like February has already ended, but we just finished January <laughs> and it was a great month. So I had record numbers in my agency. We moved um, record amount of money. So I operate in Canada and the US and in Canada we do uh, investments and I moved record amount of money and also um, new annual premium. So that was really exciting. I broke a personal record. We broke an agency record. And that was really, really exciting for us. Um, there's so many new things happening in our company. Um, I'm with a MGA or an IMO called Xperia Financial. And we're breaking so many of the rules that were out there before. We are just building something that, I don't know, no company is perfect, right? But so many new changes in the last little bit that I'm really fired up about. And so I'll talk a little bit about that. And I will also talk about a tool that I implemented to try and help me get through my leads faster because right now I am booking a month in advance as well as people on my team that have qualified for the lead program are also being booked up as well. So I implemented some tools. So we'll talk about that. Um, <clears throat> so in our company in the last little bit, what we've changed is we've made it actually easier for people to earn shares in our company. So not only do we own our business, our clients from day one, we earn um, and own our agency can also earn shares in our company. So when I was looking for a new IMO or MG home, that was a big deal to me. I came from a business background and you may or may not, but having actual ownership of your business, I think is key. If you're going to put your blood, sweat and tears into something and you can own it or not own it, which would you choose? And so we chose to come to Xperia because of that, as well as other things that they're doing. Uh, we just brought on Jeff Whitcomb, and he is the person that helped Xperia, EXP Realty grow to over 26 countries globally. He is amazing, and we just bring him on as um someone to help our company grow to the next level. So I'm really, really excited about that. So in January, we just expanded to Puerto Rico. So Canada is the first IMO or MGA from Canada to expand into the US, which is amazing. And we just expanded to Puerto Rico. We brought on Jeff. And I do believe that we will be global. This company is going global. I'm really super excited about it. I'm really blessed that when I was hearing the call to make a change, um, I was actually even considering leaving the industry because I was just really frustrated with what was going on. I thought maybe this just isn't a fit for me. I loved helping people, but I really wanted to build something. I wanted to be a business owner. I came from a business background. And when I chose financial services, that's what I wanted to do. So I was like, do I go totally independent? Do I, do I change gears? Do I just leave altogether? And Xperia came across my plate just at the right time. And it's been a real blessing for our family. So we, we are doing that. We, we have so many things that I've seen here that prove to me that when they say that we're going to do something, that we're going to do something. And I'm super excited to be a part of that. Now I mentioned the new tech. So this might help your business depending on what kind of business you have. I think it's something that's really transferable and it's kind of a two-sided coin. So this for me has been a struggle because I've had a lot of leads coming in. Now, over the past few years, I've done a lot of work on my social media, on being able to learn how to develop my own leads because I saw a lot of people in the insurance industry and I'm, I'm sure this is the same for every kind of sector is... Oftentimes you have more desire than you do 
business coming in, right? Like you're ready to do the work. You're like, I don't care. I'll work 10 hours a day. I'll work 14 hours a day. I just need people to meet. And I saw that time and time again in the company that I was with. And it's a problem across the industry is that it's hard to find people to book appointments with. And so I started really trying to develop my social media, trying to learn ways to be able to grow my own leads. And so it was doing really well. I was really busy and I had always heard dig your ditches. And what that means is be prepared for the upswing before the upswing comes. You need to have tools, systems in place, procedures in place, so that when something hits, that you're ready to deal with it. And we certainly did. And then we got so many that the wheels fell off that bus. <laughs> and so what I had to do is just really innovate over January of how in the heck am I going to be able to manage this? So. One tool that I brought on board was something called Calendly. First, we tried a Google form. Then we tried just adding a VA. Then we tried different things. And I think that's, that is a lesson right there. In business, you have to constantly innovate and you have to be willing to just do something messy. Like, hey, maybe this will just work for a week. Maybe it won't. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. And you just have to do it messy. Far too often I've seen in my business career over the last 20 plus years, the businesses that take really long to think about something, they have to talk about it and have 15 meetings, they get left in the dust, right? By the time they figure out that step, the other competition has already moved on to step 15. <laughs> so you have to be able to innovate and you have to innovate on the fly. You have to be willing to make mistakes as you move forward and do it messy. Of course, you always want to provide the highest level of quality possible, but sometimes you also have to be willing to do it messy, meaning just move forward and you'll figure out the right steps as you move forward. That movement helps you figure out what really is the right answer. Without that movement, you'll never actually end up with the right answer because real life is always different than a discussion or a chart or a graph. And so we tried Google Sheets at first because we're getting, you know, 100 to 200 new people reaching out to us every day that want to book an appointment with us. So we tried Google Sheets. I was like, how can I sort this so that I can put them with the right agent that's licensed in the right area with the right appropriate qualifications? And that worked for like a minute <laughs> because we had to take the Google Sheet and then we had to sort the data and then we still had to manually go through that process. So it works for like four days. And then we were still so behind on leads that I said, okay, what else can we do? So we went into Calendly and in Calendly, you can actually create a team. Within that team, you can create routing and you can create kind of like a Google questionnaire, like Google Forms, but you can have it automate what the next steps would be. So this could work if you're a hairdresser. Let's say you've got a team of stylists and some people are really good at coloring hair and some people are really good at perms. I don't know if perms are a thing anymore. And um, you know, a haircut takes half an hour and a, a color takes an hour. How can you create a system that can automatically manage all of that? So Calendly teams with routing can do this for you. So you set up the team. So you include everyone's availability calendar, their Calendly link into the team. Then from there, you can set up routing or round robin appointments. So you are able to actually create a questionnaire with whatever parameters you need. So do you want a hair dye job? Do you want a haircut for us? What location are you in? Because if you're in Alberta or if you're in Texas, that's going to be different who you end up meeting with. So we needed a system that can do that. So we put that in there. And then it has the next question saying some other qualifying things about what is it that they want to meet on. So we're putting with them with the right person. Then from there, you can create rules. So it'll say if you're in Texas and you have children and you 
need life insurance, I'm going to lead you to this link. And then from that link, it will have the agents that are able to work in Texas that want to work with people with children have their calendars actually go out to that person. And then within that, it'll round Robin through those people and you can even set priorities. So say you want Jane to always have the appointments first, you can actually set that priority within Calendly. So that was really cool. So that's been helping so that people can actually go in and book an appointment themselves, but also have it go to the right person. So it's not a total, uh, you know what show on the other end. So that's been helping. But even further than that, what we will be implementing is go high level. Go high level will allow us to then also create funnels of these folks afterwards. Like, did they come to the appointment? Do we need to follow up? What are the next steps? So that we can also make sure that we're not just like grabbing the low hanging fruit, which is what we're trying to do right now. Um, but we're also able to um, put people with the right places and be able to optimize that and be able to, uh, utilize that lead over the long term. Um, so, uh, we will be able to do that and go high level will allow us to do a lot of other things that our agency needs as we grow. But again, you just got to do it messy. I was like, I know that this isn't the perfect solution, but I'm going to implement it now and I'm gonna improve as I go. So that's what we did in our agency this month to improve. I, I think it can work for a lot of different businesses, plumbing business, hairdresser business, auto business, like the business that I built before this, this would have worked perfectly so that we could have people just book an appointment because you want your people to be able to move through these processes, I believe, as easily as possible. And here's why. Have you ever gone to bed after the end of a long day and you settle into sleep and you wake up and you're like, oh my God, I didn't book the car in for the oil change. Oh my God, I forgot to book my son's hair appointment again. Oh my God, right? Well, your people are doing that right now. Your potential prospects are having that experience and if you don't have an ability for them to book themselves or at least get the ball rolling, they will continue to forget or they will move on to someone else that does. So don't sleep on that tip. I think it's super important if you're building any type of business, you need to have some ability for people to move through processes themselves. Gone are the days where it's good enough just to have a number to phone and a receptionist that's going to book them in for an appointment. Number one, that's expensive for your business. If you're getting 200 leads a day like I am, heck, if you're getting any leads a day and you have to have someone sitting there answering the phone to be able to process those, it's expensive. Second of all, in this day and age, it's just not good enough for your client, for your prospect. They expect better of you. And so hopefully this tool helps you as you're building your business. It's been helping us. And if you're watching this and you're looking for ways to get your money working harder for you, our team would love to meet with you. Yes, we're really busy, but we would still love to be able to provide you value. We want to help you. And if you're an agent and you are thinking, man, that is a place that sounds like it's rocking and rolling. It sounds like a place that's doing some things really well. I think we are. <laughs> if you're considering a new IMO or MGA, I believe that we are doing so many things right. It's been such an incredible place for me to build my business. And so if you want to check it out, you can also reach out to me. So in the show notes below will be my cell phone number. You can just text me opportunity or you can text me financial empowerment and we will get you connected with the next steps and um, really look forward to talking to you. So thanks.